I was not expecting this SBC today, guys. Lewis Openda has got a fuck birthday card. One of two, you've got an option between a five-star weak foot or five-star skills. Which one did we take? Let's find out. Are you tired of coming up against absolutely insane teams? Well, today I've got a solution for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the fastest, safest, and most reliable, as well as cheapest coins I have seen for FC24. You can receive your coins as fast as 30 minutes, and also they offer full refunds if you're not happy with the product. Here is me making an order of 100,000 coins. As you can see, as we go across to the game, I've only got 489,000 coins. I also got a message from the customer service team and they told me exactly what I need to do to get my coins. And there we have it, guys. Just like that, in about 20 minutes, I have received my 100,000 coins. Not only that, they offer 24-7 customer support, so if you do need help with your order, you are in good hands. You can also trust LootBar.gg with a 4.6 rating on Trustpilot and absolutely amazing reviews, which you can see right now on your screen. So if you want to upgrade your team on FC24, make sure you go to LootBar.gg, link in the description. Okay, guys, so we took the five-star skill version. I'll explain why why shortly first of all 88 rated squad 87 with a team of the week and then an 85 with a team of the week quite expensive but a bender is a monster yes his base card stats don't look actually that great he's got insane pace decent shooting decent passing decent dribbling very good physical in my opinion he is five foot ten of course five star skills high medium he can play striker and center forward only He's from the Bundesliga, which means I was always going to complete him anyway because I've got a massive Bundesliga setup. And his playstyles are good, but the playstyle plus of power header on this card is quite pointless. Finesse shot is nice, chip shot is nice, rapid is very good to have. So is technical on this card. Travella is whatever, really. You know, that's kind of why I went for the five star skill version. If you want to. You know, shoot on his weak foot. You can just angle for the Travella, so you don't really need the five-star weak foot when he's got this as a play style. He's also got Quick Step Plus, which is one of the best play styles in the game, in my personal opinion. As we move across to the in-games, he's got good shooting in the right areas. You don't really care about long shots, volleys, and penalties. He's got great attack positioning, great finishing, and good shot power. 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed, which is actually quite a blessing, guys, because it means you're not going to need to boost his pace which allows you to put a chemist on that boosts a lot of things for this card. You know, his, his shooting's good, but could need an upgrade potentially. His passing for a striker is very good in the right areas. 82 vision and crossing with 89 short pass as well. So good agility and balance. Very good agility and balance, actually. Good reactions at 90. Composure is a little bit lower at 85, but then the ball control and dribbling at 87 is all right. We'll probably need a boost there. He's got 99 jumping and head and accuracy, which is quite cool. But without aerial, it's absolutely pointless. 87 stamina, 86 strength, and 82 aggression. We're going to take a look at a few chem styles on this card. And the first one I wanted to look at, actually, was the one that they did suggest for me. And that is the Marksman. With the Marksman applied, 99 finishing, 91 shot power. Gets a good boost of the long shots as well, up to 87. More importantly, though, and I think I am going to go with this chem style. Goes up to 94 reactions. Goes up to 95 dribbling and 95 ball control. And also gets a very good boost as well to the strength up to 94. So we're going to stick with that, guys. He's containing on controlled as well. He's not going to controlled lengthy, which is interesting. And the way we're going to play with this card, I think I want him on the right-hand side. Find him on stay central, get behind and stay forward. We'll bring... So on come back on defense now. Well, let's get into a few games and see what this card can do. Alrighty then, guys. Here we go. First game with Openda. And, you know, straight away, listen. If you don't do skill moves, go for the five-star weak foot one, I guess. Um, obviously, it's up to you what you want to do. Let's, let's see. Oh, he feels... I don't know how he's missed that. He felt insanely fast on that sprint boost. Straight away, that pace was absolutely ridiculous. See it. Oh, do you know what? Good. Good, good, good save, good save. Impressed with that, guys. I'm quite impressed with this already. Ooh, oh, he's nearly got to that as well. He's nearly, nearly got there. Well done, Alberto. That's the best centre-back on the game, by the way. No cap. 
Little dink in there. Is he onside? I don't know if he stayed onside or not. He did. Good save again. Oh, he's got to score one of those. Big ball into him. No, never mind. It's gone to Akanji. I don't know what Akanji's done either. What a strange start to this game. He's got a two-metre Peter. He's actually using two-metre Peter. Do you, do you know what this card feels like, guys? Um, He feels a bit like Mbappe. The gold card, I would say. I think Appenda feels very, very strong as well. Considering he's not the tallest and doesn't have like the biggest body type. Quite impressed with how he feels in terms of uh, strength early doors. Good ball. Oh, this is going to be an annoying game. This guy this guy was offside trapping at the start, wasn't he? It doesn't look like he has the best team. Oh, he feels. Oh, why do you need the five-star weak foot? Why would you need it? What a goal that is. Great technical dribbling. Okay. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Oh. Yeah, man. Go on. Wow, bro. What? His dribbling feels mad. I wasn't expecting his dribbling to feel as good as it does, I have to say. We're going to keep crossing it into him, guys. Was oh, that a penalty? Got a pen here. No, okay. I'm going to keep crossing it into him. I don't think he's going to win a lot in the air, sadly. Oh, dear. He just beat Virgil in the air, guys. Wow. Okay. His skill moves feel real nice as well. His step up. I, I know I'm not speaking a lot, but I'm just kind of trying to take it in. I wasn't expecting this card to feel like this. I know he's very, very good on FIFA. I like this card a lot, guys. I do. I like this card a lot. Let's get into another game. All right, guys. Here's game number two. I was blown away in that first game. I know the, the opponent wasn't the best. But the way he moves, the way he dribbles, the way he shoots, the way he does skill moves, very tasty in that first game. Now, of course, we need to test it over a few games. Oh, Jesus. Terrible. Is that that new Makalele? I know I haven't reviewed him, guys. I'm not going to bother. I don't think that card's that good. I, I don't really like out-and-out -out CDMs like him. You know, I, I personally wouldn't recommend you complete him. He goes again. <sighs> he feels so, so good on the ball. Oh, I mean, bit too much from me there, guys. But this card's electric. This card is electric. He is very well priced for how meta and good he feels in game thus far. Very well priced. He's again up against Bastoni here. Sends him shopping. Can he get past Matson? No. Oh, hold on, though. Nice. Nice. And you've got to remember as well, guys, one thing that's actually quite good about this card is he's, you know, he, he's got incredible strike stats. He's got really good passing. His step overs. His, just generally, his, his sprint boost is one of the best I've used on the game. And it's probably because... All of you guys and myself are used to playing with a player of the month in Mbappe. Oh, my Lord. And he's got Rapid Plus. Rapid Plus is not as good as uh, Quick Step Plus. Do you know what as well? Very impressed with him in the air so far. Go on, zoom, zoom, zoom. There wasn't that much of a physical battle there, guys. I reckon he would have got through there. Absolute bruiser. Absolute bulldog, man. One minute then. Yeah, nice. Yeah, he, he's very solid in the air, guys, for a small man. Oh, oh, I don't know what's going on. Please go out for a corner. I want to test his head in again. All right, don't move your keeper, please. Right, he's not moving his keeper. Yes, he is. Oh, he's still nearly got there. Man, if this card had aerial, he'd be a monster in the air, I reckon. I mean, he's already very, very good in the air, right? But it's again. Nice. Great pass as well. Great pass into Marlon there. I think you've got to complete this one. Imagine a front line of Timo Werner, Mbappe, and this Appender. 
I, th I think it's very important, guys, that you really do consider the, the five-star skill version. Even if you don't do a lot of five-star skills, as long as you know how to use them. This card's an absolute joke. I mean, he's offside there, right? This card's a joke. This card's very, very good. Very good. This card is awesome. Wow. I, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit blown away, guys. I was expecting him to be good, right? As I said, I'm, I'm ex I was expecting a good card here. I don't think I was expecting this good a card. He feels like Mbappe. He feels like Mbappe, but stronger. Oh. I hate it when the game just doesn't let you turn. Into him again. Coleman. Waiting for that run of a pender there. Oh, man. This card's sick. This card is absolutely sick. Okay. I am in a bit of shock by how good this card is. Um, as I said at the start, his base card stats look quite underwhelming. You have to complete this card. He is everything you kind of want in a striker at this stage of the game. He feels better than Werner. He feels on the same level as Mbappe. But I actually think there is an argument to be made. He's better than your 93 player of the month Mbappe. The reason I say that is absolutely down to this place right here, guys. He, he, he is so, so fast. Off step overs and off the L1 sprint boost. Probably the quickest player I've used on the game. And that's the thing with Kylian Mbappe's player of the month, right? They've all got rapid plus. EA know what they're doing with that. His gold card's got quick step plus. His team of the year has got quick step plus. Quick step is a better play style than rapid, especially when you go to the gold versions. He's quite good in the air as well, all things considered. You know, he's got 99 jump in and head accuracy with power header plus. He is quite good in the air, guys. He is quite good in the air. Of course, you're not going to win everything with him, but we did win a header from a corner up against Virgil with the subhender. So he's not bad in the air. Shooting is spectacular. I think his shooting is very, very good. Of course, he's a very much getting behind striker. So once again, once we start comparing to Mbappe and Werner, Mbappe's not got the best long shots in the world. You won't do long shots with Kylian Mbappe, right? You're looking to get into the box, look for a cutback, or look for just, just a standard finish. This card can do both of them. His, his cutbacks are quite decent. You know, I played him at right centre forward. He felt quite good there uh, for cutbacks. And of course, great for the Travellers. Um, and if you want the weak foot the five star weak foot you just get it with the Travella. so please take this version and get the five star skills over the five star weak foot this card is mad guys one of if not the quickest player i've used on fc24 a great finisher once he's in the box not got good long shots we've already talked about that the long shots aren't there really passing for a striker is great in the right areas he's also got decent crossing so if you want to whip it into a big man you certainly can do that as well but the short passing vision is certainly good enough for cutbacks and his cutbacks were decent in-game. Dribbling-wise, we haven't really talked about this. We haven't touched on it too much. Skill moves feel really, really sharp. You know, the reverse Lascos and the Lascos feel good on him. They're not as good as, like, a, a player of the month in Bappe, for example. Or, uh, I can't think of any other players really off the top of my head. Maybe Timothy and Messi. Um, or this Komen. I'd probably argue that Appender has about the same level of five-star skills in terms of how he performs them to that Kingsley Komen. But... Left stick dribbling is on point with this card. Technical dribbling is on point with this card. And I really do think the marksman is making him that good. I really, really do. And then you've got the physicals and the jumping and the head accuracy. Physically, actually quite good considering he's only 5'10". You know, the marksman up to 94 strength is a massive, massive upgrade. And, man, he's good in the air, guys. This is a very, very... Very good card. One of my favourites I reviewed on this game this year. I think he's a must complete, guys. I think he's very close to a 10 out of 10. I think he's very close, if not better, than your 93 player of the month in Bappe. So get this one completed. Take the 5-star skill one, guys. Let me know what you think of this card down below. I think he's one of the best price SPCs of FC24 so far. There with Werner. And yeah, man. Go and get this card. You will not regret it. Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Don't know the better since play review, but guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.